The SQF Sentinel system is designed as a comprehensive tool for the operation of a food safety program and a food processing facility. The product supports all of the commonly used food safety standards, SQF, BRC, and ISO 22000. In this video, we will provide an overview of the system and its capability. One of the more powerful features of the system is the ability to monitor control points. These could be anything from metal detector tests, automatic monitoring of temperatures and humidities in different areas of the facility, or any task or procedure that needs to be completed in the plant to support the food safety program. Many of these tasks have to do with cleaning and maintenance of plant floor equipment. Presented here is an example of the SQF Sentinel dashboard. The dashboard allows a user to monitor the status of his food safety system. These dashboards are configurable and can be set up to display any of the monitored control points. This allows each user to group related control points that are relevant to his area of concern. In this example, we see that the control points are divided into four groups. Those associated with production line one, those associated with the plant's metal detectors, those associated in the makeup room, and those associated with the completion of the regularly scheduled standard operating procedures. Each of the control points that are monitored by SQF Sentinel have tolerances assigned. For example, in the case of a control point associated with temperature, the acceptable temperature range in degrees can be set. In the case of a standard operating procedure, the maximum allowable deviation in minutes from the scheduled completion time of the procedure would be the tolerance. As SQF Sentinel operates, it is constantly scanning for control points that are out of tolerance. Those that are out of tolerance result in an alarm condition. These alarms are presented on the dashboard using color codes that are user configurable. Here we see that the user has chosen to display out of tolerance control points in red. Although the dashboard can be configured to display a large number of control points, those in an alarm condition are always displayed at the top of the grouping, making it unnecessary to scroll through the list of control points to determine which are in alarm condition. Along the top of the dashboard are what we refer to as indicators. These are control points that the user can select to display at all times. The purpose of these indicators is to allow the user to get a quick indication of the plant's status by merely glancing at the top of the SQF Sentinel dashboard. Once again, the indicator status colors are user configurable. Now let's look at how the user can set up control points for his plant. You can see that in this screen, there are many control points that have been established by the user to match the food safety requirements of his plant. We'll use the control point that the user has set up for one of his metal detectors as an example. After selecting a metal detector control point, we see that there are a number of fields that need to be filled in. The first is the control point identifier. This is a unique name that will always refer to this control point. Then the equipment and equipment type are also defined. The Sentinel supports a number of device types that interface with the software. Among these are touchscreen computers, standalone sensors, and handheld devices. The frequency with which this control point is monitored is also established in the setup screen. For the metal detector control point, the customer may wish to conduct the test every 60 minutes. The metal detector test requires the employee performing the test to complete an electronic form indicating that the steps required to successfully complete the test have been performed. These forms are presented on the plant floor either on a touch screen PC or a handheld data device. SQF Sentinel comes with a library of standard forms for the most common standard procedures. However, the user also has the capability to create his own forms using the Sentinel form creation wizard. The next field, barcode, allows the plant to use 
barcode technology to label its plant floor devices. In the case of the metal detector test, the employee would use a handheld device to scan the barcode label affixed to the metal detector on the plant floor. The system would immediately bring up the appropriate electronic form for the metal detector test. The barcode scanning also verifies that the employee was actually at the metal detector at that point in time. In the next field, we see that the user can associate a document, image, video, or any other file type with the control point. This will allow the employee to view this file on the plant floor, perhaps using a wall-mounted touchscreen computer prior to performing the procedure in question. For example, a video or pictorial diagram could be assigned to the metal detector test procedure that instructs the employee on the steps required to successfully complete the testing. Finally, the verification field indicates whether or not this control point requires verification by plant management. If verification of the data is required, another input box allows the user to indicate which users are authorized to provide verification. Another type of control point has to do specifically with equipment cleaning and maintenance. Let's look at one of these. The dough hoist maintenance procedure. Control points of this type have a step-by-step -step procedure associated with them. The employee performing the procedure on the dough hoist will be required to acknowledge that he has completed each and every step in the cleaning procedure. As before, documents can be attached to any of the steps in the procedure to provide instructions to the employee. Manuals for the subject equipment in PDF form could easily be attached to the cleaning procedure so the employees could reference the manual as necessary without having to retrieve a paper version from the plan office. A final type of control point that can be defined in SQF Sentinel is the automatic point. This type of control point is one from which data is electronically collected by the system. The system can be connected automatically to sensors, wireless devices, PLCs, and even other PC-based monitoring systems. For instance, a freezer temperature can be read directly at any desired frequency through a direct communication to the PLC-based control system that operates the freezer. Likewise, a wireless standalone temperature and humidity sensor can be read by the system at an established frequency via wireless local area network installed in the plant. Once all the control points are defined, the user can set up the alerts that will be generated by the system. Through this screen, the user can indicate the action to be taken in the event that a control point is outside of tolerance. Possible actions include sending an email or a text message to a manager alerting him of out of tolerance condition. The frequency with which these messages will go out can also be set here. Another feature of SQF Sentinel allows inspections to be performed and recorded. As an example, let's look at a brittle inspection, one in which all of the brittle items on the plant floor, gauge covers, and etc. are inspected. By selecting the brittle inspection from the list box, we access a list of all the brittle items on the plant floor that must be inspected. This list can be printed out for use on the plant floor or presented on a handheld unit that will be carried by the inspector. Nonconformities are noted and the system automatically creates a corrective action request that is associated with the failed inspection point. Tasks are easily monitored by SQF Sentinel. This screen displays the master cleaning schedule for the plant. Obviously, these are tasks that must be completed at a defined frequency. The user can easily set this frequency using the scheduled task dialog box. These are defined food safety control points. The user can make this a control point with all of the associated learning capability that we saw earlier in the presentation. The list 
of tasks can be printed for reference by plant floor personnel or presented on touchscreen computers or handheld devices. If one or more of the tasks is not completed as required, the system generates an appropriate corrective action request. Let's make a quick point about the configurability of the system. The menus and submenus that are presented at the left of the screen are completely programmable. The user can choose which items to display in each menu, tailoring the SQF Sentinel system the way he chooses. This concludes our overview of the SQF Sentinel features designed to handle food safety control points. Now let's take a look at the other capabilities of the system. Another major component of SQS Sentinel is its ability to manage documents that are associated with your food safety program. If we click the HACCP tab, we see a variety of subtabs. The first one is straightforward. It allows you to define the members of your HACCP team in the system. The second product profile allows you to define the specifications associated with a particular product. This is useful to operators who are performing quality assurance checks on finished products. The user can also enter a product profile in a manner consistent with the AIB HACCP procedure. The raw material tab allows the entry of raw material data that is required by the HACCP program. The remaining six tabs in the HACCP section deal with six prerequisites of any HACCP program sanitation, GMP, pest control, chemical control, complaints, and traceability. The HACCP program coordinator uses these tabs to catalog the documents that define the plant's procedure for ensuring that these HACCP prerequisites are satisfied. The SQF doc section of the system allows the user to maintain and catalog all the documents that are required for food safety program certification. The vendor survey section makes it easy to create, administer, and track vendor survey results. The SQF Sentinel comes with a comprehensive vendor survey, but the user can easily create a survey of his own if desired. The Customer Complaints section makes it straightforward to record complaints that may be received by the plant. Each of the complaints recorded in the system is linked to a corrective action request. Note that the system allows the user to attach documents to the complaint record. These documents might be pictures of non-conforming product or a PDF to the actual complaint form that may have been received from a customer. The document control tab allows the customer to create a record of all changes that are made to the plant's food safety documents. Maintaining a record of such changes and the procedure used to make the changes is required by all of the major food safety standards. The Employee Training tab is used to maintain current records about employee training and food safety procedures. Current skills are recorded and the due dates for retraining and recertification are included. The Management Review section is where the Food Safety Coordinator records the details of all management meetings that deal with the food safety program topics discussed, decisions taken, and results expected. The audit section deals with the scheduling of internal audits and allows the user to record the portions of the food safety program that are audited. All of the data collected in other parts of the system are automatically populated here in the audit section. All the user has to do is note nonconformities that are discovered during the internal audit any non-conformities will automatically generate a corrective action request. The Glass Brittles tab allows the user to record information associated with cleanups of glass or brittle breakages. This creates a permanent record of the time and date of the breakage as well as the details associated with the cleanup. The non-conformity section is automatically populated with non-conformities that are detected in other parts of the program. Here the user documents the actions taken to address nonconformities identified during the course of operations. The next four sections 
policies and procedures, SOPs, SSOPs, and training documents follow the same presentation format. By clicking one of these tabs, the user brings up a screen that allows easy access to the pertinent food safety documents. Here the user has categorized the policies and procedures documents using index numbers that correspond to six prerequisites of the BRC audit standard. Links to the documents are presented and can be used during third-party audit to demonstrate to the auditor that the required documents have been assembled and are in order. The links also make the documents easily accessible to authorized users of the system. When clicking one of these links, the underlying document is quickly displayed. The verification tab is designed to allow appropriate managers to set up verification procedures. Based on the user's login ID, any tasks that need to be verified are presented for verification. The manager can look at the details of the task, make any required notes on the task and its completion, and generate a corrective action request if necessary. If the completion of the task is completely inadequate, the manager can reject it and require that it be completed again. Next is the validation tab. In food safety, validation is different than verification. Verification is the review and approval of individual tasks that are completed as part of the food safety program. Validation is the periodic review and validation of the standards and procedures that are part of the program. Validation represents management's agreement that the appropriate procedures are in place and that they are producing the desired results. Finally, let's look at the audit report, which is a standard part of the SQF Sentinel system. This report is designed to completely simplify the preparation for the third-party audit. It allows the customer to quickly create a comprehensive report that will provide the auditor with the baseline data required for the audit. For example, in setting up the audit report, the user could ask, that three randomly selected customer complaints be selected, three randomly selected vendor surveys be selected, and that freezer temperature at random times on five separate days be selected. Once these selections are made, the complete audit report can be printed at the push of a button and handed to the auditor in either printed or PDF form. The purpose of this software tour is to demonstrate the core functions of the SQF Sentinel system. The system provides much more functionality, such as multi-plant and multi-store monitoring, and monitoring of refrigerated truck deliveries. The system is also available in a web-based version, and also provides for remote monitoring of off-site warehouses and facilities through web connections. FocusWorks is working with the American Institute of Baking and other recognized certification bodies to provide the most comprehensive and simple to use food safety software system. Our goal is to provide a system that prevents food safety issues while it supplies complete compliance to SQF and BRC certification requirements.